how good did this one feel? Uh, didn't beat the Knicks last season. It was home opener, a great atmosphere, and you guys pulled it out in dramatic fashion. I mean, what better way to come out here and do it for New York, you know? That's the battle of New York. We didn't beat them at all last year, like you said, and we came out there, fought to the end and won. Knicks got a few offensive rebounds in that fourth quarter, but for the most part in the game, you guys really dominated on the glass. You had 11 rebounds yourself. How, how would you assess that effort inside? I was, I assess it. We did really well. You know, Cantor, he killed us last time. He only had, I think, like 10 or 11 rebounds this game. So it really showed that we had all five coming back to rebound. Like, that's one of the best rebounders in the league. It's hard to, for one person to do it by themselves. And when we group rebound, that's when we excel. Cantor is a handful. Physically, how do you feel after battling him over the course of this game? It was battling for every, almost every second of the game. It really wears on your body, but I'm ready for the next game. I'm ready for Miles Turner. How happy were you for, for Karis LeVert and what he's been able to do so far this season? I'm over the moon. I'm happy for him. I'm living out through him. You know, he's showing all that work that he's put in in the summer. We raved, we told you guys about him coming out. You guys didn't believe us, but he's showing you guys, and I think he's he's ready to take on the season. You kind of hit on it already, but the challenge tomorrow night against Miles Turner, and that fellow Longhorn, what's your relationship with him, and how much are you looking forward to that matchup? I, you know, he's always been there if I need to support uh, him. His mom, my mom talked quite a bit, so, I mean, there's a little connection there, but when the ball goes up, it's just basketball. We're ready to attack each other. <laughs>